first. So I'm a field service engineer, so I travel a lot for work. And uh, recently I was in Alabama, and I go to the rental car center, and the guy tells me we've only got one car available, and it's a pickup truck. I've never driven a pickup truck, but I figure if I'm ever going to drive one, Alabama is the place to do it. So I'm driving on the highway, and I see all the other pickup trucks have the classic pickup truck bumper stickers. Like, don't trade on me. We the people. You'll get my gun out of my cold, dead hands after you shoot me with your gun. <laughs> I figure, uh... I'd like to rent a pickup truck, drive it around the deep south, get all the classic bumper stickers, and then sprinkle in a few surprises. So some guy's driving behind me in like Arkansas. He's like, all right, what do we got here? Back the blue, hell yeah. Support the troops, I do. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I want to. Hillary 2020, what? Hillary? Oh man, there must be another Hillary. What other ones we got? Uh, Bass Pro Shops. All right, he likes to fish too. All right, uh, let's see. NRA, that's what we're talking about. All right, uh, Tractor Supply Store. Oh, he's a farmer too. I like this guy. Honk if you want Karl Marx. What? <laughs> Man. Well, that don't beat all. As the guy's driving back, he's having like an existential crisis. He's like, Man, I agree with a lot of what he had to say. Maybe I gotta take a second hard look at Karl Marx's daggum ideology. <laughs> but, uh, I figure it's good to be surprised. We should all be shocked more. Like, uh, it's never good when you go too long without getting surprised. Like, when you uh, hear someone talk about a family recipe, and they're always like, my grandma's homemade chocolate chip cookie recipe. It is the best thing you've ever had. And I'm like, I doubt it. Because if it was, she'd be famous. And there's millions of grandmas. They're all making chocolate chip cookies. Odds are, your grandma's not in the top quartile. And so, <laughs> what I'd like to hear is someone tell it more honestly. And be like, my grandma has a homemade pasta recipe, and it is pretty bad. <laughs> Let me tell you, I want to like it, but the noodles are so underdone. You can snap them in half. The tomatoes, uh, they're just rubbery. It's way too much salt. We keep telling her, Grandma, your recipe, just throw it out. And she's like, oh, but that's how we used to do it in the old country. We're like, Grandma, fuck the old country. We want it like Olive Garden. We want it just like Olive Garden does it. How can you claim this is real, authentic Italian cuisine when you don't even have unlimited breadsticks? You don't have a single breadstick. And she's like, uh, I've been working on it for 60 years. We're like, Grandma, you should have got the hint after 50. It wasn't any good. <laughs> Just take the recipe, put it in the pizza oven at 700 degrees until it combusts. It's garbage. <laughs> and then go down to Olive Garden, bring a notepad and some paper, <laughs> and then take some notes from some real, authentic Italian chefs. That's it. Thanks. <laughs> Keep it going for Max Kapoor, everyone!